Hello and welcome back to My Sims 2 Genetic Experiment Edition. Last time we they got did they get pregnant again or did she realize she was pregnant? I can't remember. They have another child coming. Their first child, Harry, who's in a wonderful tux. Um I see she needs to bathe him. She's getting him a bottle. Uh, so he can go to bed because she's got to take care of herself afterwards. And this is kind of the problem with pregnant Sims and The Sims 2. Um, all they do is sleep and eat and pee. So it's, I mean, it is what it is because, okay, I tell you what. Oh, he's still sleeping. He's going to sleep through her doing all this stuff. I'm going to fast forward and get her back up here. Let's see. Let's see, I'm going to let her do this. Then she's going to put him. Actually, she can put him in there. And then take a shower. What is her... She is good, so she can play a game. Sims 3. I have not gotten him any clothes or anything because see he wants to so he needs to walk and I think she's almost done or did they even get started I don't remember no hun you can't go upstairs this is the way they coded the game shower Why are you canceling out what I'm telling you to do? Both of you are doing it, and it's kind of annoying, and I need you to please not do that. Thank you. That would be great. So, let me see what she's going to take care of up here. Is she going to put him in the thing? Yeah, because he needs to sleep. Okay, good. Oh, she, she knows she's pregnant. Um, Here's the situation. Here's what we need to discuss. I've mentioned it briefly before. Um, there's something in The Sims 2 called firstborn syndrome. What happens is the game gets stuck in its genetics cycle. And you, so, only if you leave the game. If you play a game and you have one kid, then back to back, just keep saving, keep saving, and you have the second kid, they'll be fine. However, if you leave, then come back into the game, you need to do one of two things. One thing is called uh, rolling the pacifier. That's where you go into uh, miscellaneous. No. That's where you go into create a sim and use the um, randomizer, the little dice, over and over and over again four times or so. Or what you can do is create two adults, have them try, uh, play with genetics three or four times. The second thing you can do is get what is called the lot debugger. Um, okay, hold on. Let me see if I can give FFS Lot Debugger. Um, let's see. Okay. Now I've got to find it. Right here. Randomize Sim Generator. So what you will do, and, and I will uh, try to remember to put a link to this in the description. What you will do is you will pick, you will save. Always save. Randomize Sim Genetics. It will throw you back into the neighborhood. When you come back into your home, no worries. And I would do it in the play that you expect to have. Uh, it in, 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 like, if I were to come in and be ready to have the baby in the next 
recording. I would definitely do it at the start of that. I, I would actually... Like, I might have to do it on camera because I don't think... With the weird way the game likes to act with fraps, I don't really know if I can just... can show all of them. Uh, we'll figure that out. But the point is that that's what I'm going to be doing. Whether I do it on screen or not is you will hit Randomize Sim Genetics from the Lod Debugger. I will try to remember to put a link in the description. It is one of the mods that I will be describing for, for Sims 2. It's basically a just clean up problems mod. All it does, all it's meant to do is just stop problems. If scenarios don't uh, quit right like they're supposed to, if um, you have stuff stuck on the lot, which can happen from dates. Usually a date, if it's good, they'll bring you a gift. They can get, those gifts can get stuck. A number of things can happen. It's part of the reason that I call The Sims 4 a little bit less um, stable than The Sims 3. Because while The Sims 3 might crash more. And it does have some game breaking bugs. The things that break in The Sims 3, like, I mean, it's in The Sims 2. Like, you could talk to, to, you could do the wrong social to a sim, and your game is, is messed up from there on. You can't save the sims in any way, shape, or form, or anything like that. Like, there's, there's no way to save them. So, does he work today? Yeah, he works at five. Okay. Is this gonna get you? Is this gonna get you fun? Cause you just need a little bit of body skill. All right. He is only halfway through. There's no way. <laughs> so, okay. So yeah, like, to me, well, I guess both of them have a lot of things that can really go wrong, but I think in The Sims 3, it's just a little bit easier to recover them. So, yeah. And that could just be perception. Because, you know, personally, I've never had a major problem with Sims 3. And I've not read as many major problems. Um as I have for The Sims 2. So again, it could just be a misconception, misperception, because I'm not getting all the information. Okay, so he might get this point. How are you, little guy? You're awake? Why are you awake? Uh, well, she's going to come and teach you how to walk. She's going to come and try to get this done for you right now. <laughs> but hopefully there's still some kind of uniqueness to his face. If you've seen the, uh, it was kind of a rushed episode, but if you've seen my genetic experiment for The Sims 3, that child definitely has a unique face. Probably going to look just like the dad, which is fine. Oh, okay. Yes, we're not ready for you to have the baby. But what did that say? Put away leftovers. There's still food on there? Eat that. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to set up all this again. Teach to walk. Oh, Bill Reminder. Okay. So he is going to pay the bills when I feel like it. All right, cool. I don't know if he'll get the point tonight. I don't really like for them to, um, to have too much time between promotions because, and that's part of the reason I have a, uh, 
mod to that they don't need friendships because it just takes so long to get the skills. Well, like, obviously when you have brought them up from a, t from a baby and, you, you know, they've had children, you know, their toddler years, their children, uh, their years as children and their teen years and their university years, they have a way more skills. So it's much... Then I might be like, once I get everybody to that point, I might temporarily take out the mod. Oh, okay. Okay. Teach him to walk. Can, can we do this thing? Is there, is there any way we can get this walking done? Okay. You're, you're going to walk in the little space in the bathroom. If it works, it works, I guess. I'll come back and check on you. I could give him smart milk, but he doesn't really need smart milk right now. Because he's got, I mean, he's still got plenty of days. Three days, yeah, plenty of time. I thought you used the bathroom, little guy. I see his fun isn't raising, so that's... All right, a little bit of fast-forwarding there to get him closer. They are doing fine. Good for them. And he's about to get this point, and when he does, I'll have him go get the mail. Because that's kind of what you get stuck with with your first generation is they'll need one or two points, so you'll, you're stuck in that uh, job position for, like, why did you stop? Finish the body skill. Then you can go do this. I, oh, it's not body. It's logic. I forgot. <laughs> well, then go pay the bills. Yeah, go do that. How are you doing? Good, good. What I like to see. But I totally forgot it was logic that he needs. So now I have to figure out how to give him logic. Okay, my mouse has gone crazy. Okay, he learned, yay! Okay, go ahead. Actually, she can use one downstairs. All right, there you go. Now he's gonna go to work soon. Yes. Okay. I see your nervous breakdown. And I raise you playing a video game. See? Go play the video game. You only have like 19 minutes to do this, dude. Come on. Work with me. Play the video game and then you'll be happier. Yay! He's gonna go do it. Oh, there are the bugs that they killed. Then after that, she needs to eat. Yeah, she got a bad memory from that, cleaning them up. So I have to remember that he needs logic. So... When he gets paid, I'll have to buy him something that he can work on logic with. That's kind of why I like The Sims 3 so much for, for logic skill, because put away, go to sleep. Well, he's learning skills. He's doing his best. Oh, she needs to, he needs to eat soon. Now, to me, the hardest transition to keep them extra happy, to keep them platinum, is toddler to child and child to teen. 
the toddler to child, you have to time things just right, and you have to make sure you have little things that can keep the bar up. But for child, it's the same thing. They'll get ones that it's nothing you can do. Like, you can't make so-and-so a friend unless you really push them calling that person and stuff like that. And, um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <sighs> Swear my games. They want to troll me, and I'm not excited about it. Please don't pass out. At least you don't have a fear of passing out right now. But please don't do it. But I'm going to stay with you in case you do. Let's be honest. Okay, good. She's going to make it to bed. Okay, good. Now, so, the way this is going to work is, I guess, next time, we're going to have the baby. So, that's pretty awesome. And I'm just kind of letting them do their thing about it. I'm... We'll see. We'll see. Going to let her sleep for a little while. Let's fast forward a little bit. Okay, that bar is just really red. What time does he get home? 11. Alright. So, we're just going to watch until his hunger bar gets down a little. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Then we'll put her back to bed. Yeah, I know, honey. The roaches are horrible and... Now, this charisma, you want him to learn that as much as possible because he can't learn it again until he's a teenager. Yeah, just put it down. He'll drink it. I know, I know. Roaches are horrible. Okay. Good, good. We're set there. He is pretty red, so I'm going to do something. Now, normally... Let's see. Um, I don't know... That's just for the children. Okay. Normally, the... Perfect. Now, again, this is a mod that basically just allows the toddlers to go to sleep on their own. So, yeah. Yeah, and he's going to go find it. So, that's good for him. And to really, it's to me, it's really necessary if you have an actual family because there's no way they can, like, always be awake at the same time. You could also get uh, pet beds. So... Her energy is going up. That's great. Now, unfortunately, he will not get a promotion tonight. But that's okay. We don't mind. Because when he comes with his money, I will see if I can figure out a place to put a chess table. Let me look at this right now. So, all right. Um, I could put it... Somewhere around in here, I think. <sighs> 
So, yeah, not much going on with them. Um, but the toddler blankets, I think you can find them on Mod The Sims. Who's awake? Come over here and play with this speak and say thingy. Actually, no. There you go. That way we can take care of those two things. Also, the toddler blanket will allow him to have somewhere to sleep. Well, his younger sibling can take that, so we can save a little bit of money on that. And I can get the chess table with one chair, so we can save some space and, uh... No, 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 no. Get on the thing. They're on totally different schedules. This is not good. There we go. Now he... needs to shower. So let's go ahead... Okay. Let's let him do that first. Okay, there we go. Now... Let's see... Where is my hobby? There we go. Now, I could get him a, um... Oh, there it is. It's like, what? I think it goes like that. Let's see. So, we can have him practice just to see if he can actually use it. And he needs not anything. He's good. Oh, he wants to grow up well. I'll lock that one in. He won't keep platinum for two days, but I can, if he rolls the uh, nursery rhyme, we can use that. Where are the flies coming from? I hear flies. Oh yeah, she, they, she forgot to, uh... Oh, Which is fine, I, I had to... Alright, good, he can use it. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and let him get some comfort. And we will start here the next time. Let's see what do I need to have. Oh yeah, she's showering. Okay. There's a couple things that I want to talk about. You, um, I mentioned do not save and quit when they're at work. Do not save and quit when somebody's visiting if you can help it. So yeah, those are some suggestions for keeping your game as stable as you can. And I think we will end this here. I want to thank you for watching. Um, if you have any name, baby name suggestions, theme suggestions, because I've got this generation covered, but after that, I'm it's going to be random names again, and we, we don't want that. So <laughs> if you have any suggestions, let me know. And um, again, uh, with any of the Sims games, if there's specific content you want to see, that you 
want to know if I have access to you, let me know. I, I pretty much have access to everything in The Sims 2 and 3. In The Sims 4, the only thing I'm missing is the um, bowling and uh, the outdoor retreat. And the outdoor retreat could be gotten pretty quickly. So, yeah. So, um, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope all my videos kind of like help you with different points in the game if you have any questions because I do always try to throw a tip in here and there because I know that I had to go research a lot of stuff on my own and it's nice to now have access to people doing let's plays like this gameplay like this where you can see the problem hear them solving it everything so yeah uh, thank you again for joining me and I'll see you in the next video